part of some of the pine trees there that you see all the time. And they just kind of sit there and look around. They need one of those signs, do not pet out. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do not pet the porcupine. Do I think not it's pet the porcupine. Of, if you haven't figured that out, you will very quickly. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, well, we're uh, gearing up for more stormy weather, even though this morning things are quieting down quite a bit. A lot of the snow showers uh, that were going over the central and southern part of the state have tapered off. And even in the north, the snow is letting up, but we still have a little bit of lake enhancement, keeping some showers uh, going from northern Salt Lake County up through Davis County with some of the heavier showers moving in right now uh, toward Layton. So that's the big trouble spot. And part of the issue is it's so much colder than it was yesterday morning. So uh, while we got the snow uh, 24 hours ago, a lot of it just melted when it hit the ground. Now it's uh, sticking, especially in some of the side streets, bridges and overpasses. Uh, pretty chilly start to the day. 16 in Park City. It's 26 right now in Salt Lake. Seven below zero in Rock Springs this morning. It's in the low teens in Ely and in St. George, a little bit above freezing at 37. Now we've got a big trough of low pressure over the western United States and there are a series of disturbances rotating around the base of this moving through. The next one makes its way in later today and primarily impacts the southern part of the state. So in the north, we're kind of between storms uh, for much of the day. It'll become partly cloudy and in Salt Lake, our temperature will climb to 36. So a cold February day. You have to keep that good jacket handy. Low 20s in Park City. It'll be in the mid to upper 30s in a lot of the central valleys near 50 in St. George. And in the south, it'll become mostly cloudy with some rain and snow showers going in the far south. Initially, they'll change over to snow pretty quickly. It'll be starting in the west and becoming widespread as the day progresses. And by tomorrow afternoon, when things finally wind down, there could be a foot or two of snow in the southern mountains, about half that amount of the higher terrain of central Utah. Only a few inches expected in northern Utah mountains, mainly south of I-80. So farther north you are, the lighter the amounts will be. But some of the heavier snow in the southern valleys be over southwest and south central Utah, where there could be several inches close to that in the western and central parts of the state, as well as we into Basin and in St. George, there might be up to two inches of snow. In the north, we'll have a chance of some snow showers, but also some gusty canyon winds along the northern Wasatch Front, Cache Valley. Some of those might gust near 50 miles per hour and make travel difficult, tomorrow morning. Even in St. George, you're expecting that rain to change to snow later tonight. By Thursday, we dry out and it'll gradually be warming up heading into the weekend. You make it up into the mid 50s by Sunday. And for northern Utah, tomorrow we'll have a chance of some snow showers. Those actually begin tonight, but it looks like whatever we get would be pretty light. We'll dry out on Thursday. We'll be warming up as well. Looks like temperature by early next week climbs back into the upper 40s.